Hello, LoFi Guy here. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a breadcrumb component. If you don't know what that is, then right here, this, what you see right here, is a breadcrumb component. Also, if you would like a written tutorial with copy and pasteable code, then in the description, I will have the link to that written tutorial. It's the one you're seeing right here. In this video, we will just be building the presentation layer of this component. So what that means is you'll just be building what you see here. Clicking on these little links won't do anything. However, if I hear that you would like a second part to this tutorial, showing you how to make like clicking these either remove one or add one, then I can do that. Okay, so let's get started by going to our terminal here and just create a new view project. You have to have the view CLI, so make sure that's installed and then just do view, create, and I'm just gonna call the project crumbs. All right, now that that is done, um, just like my tab navigator tutorial, the first thing that we will need to do aside from opening this up in Visual Studio Code. First thing we need to do is download Bootstrap. The reason that we want Bootstrap is just so that we can get some, some of the CSS styles, which are just really useful, makes it so you don't have to reinvent the wheel when it comes to CSS. Once that's installed, you can either just pause the video here to figure this out or if you want to you can go into the description and copy this this is how you import bootstrap with this statement right here and you go into visual studio code and go to the file called main.js and simply paste that in there now you have bootstrap simple as that next thing we're going to do is create the actual breadcrumb component so go to your components here I'm just gonna delete this one because we don't really need it. Now, just do a new file and call it breadcrumb.view. Okay, so the first thing I always do is I create like just the basic stuff of a view file, like the template, the script, and the style. And now we can actually get started. So I'm going to start with the props first. There is only going to be one prop and that prop is called crumbs. So the type of this prop is going to be an array. It's actually going to be an array of strings, which defines what your crumbs actually are. That may not make sense at the moment, but it will as we go on. And also you don't have to put required equals you don't have to put this right here, but what this does, it just makes this prop required. And if you don't pass it in to your breadcrumb component, it'll complain. Next, I'm going to write the methods. There's two methods. So methods. The first one is going to be called is last. It's going to take in an index and all it's going to do is return index equals this dot crumbs dot length minus one and all that's saying is or all that's doing is it's taking in the index of a crumb and it checks to see if that is the last crumb in the array so true if it is false otherwise our second method will be called selected it takes in a crumb and all it's going to do is it's going to emit. I don't know why it put two dollar signs. That was weird. So it's just going to emit an event called selected. And it's going to send the crumb with it. And we will actually catch that event in app.view later. I'd also like to add that this method isn't really necessary for this tutorial. It's necessary if we were making the making it functional where you can remove and add crumbs. But 
This kind of sets us up for that, so I'm going to add it anyway. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do is create a style down here. Let's call it breadcrumb. Just give it a background color of white. Give it a border that's one pixel, solid lines. Let's use RGBA and give it zero, zero, zero. And then for the opacity, do zero point one two five. And the last thing, we're gonna give it a border radius so that the border isn't completely square. And let's just do point three seven is probably good. All right, now let's do the template. So to start off, let's just do a nav and an ordered list. On this ordered list, put breadcrumb. Now this is a little bit confusing. So breadcrumb is actually a bootstrap class. It's gonna make your breadcrumb, com your breadcrumb component look good, but it's also a selector we made. So it's gonna have the bootstrap styles and also these styles. Just thought I should clear that up. Inside your ordered list, put a list element. On this list element, you're gonna want a few different things. The first is going to be a V4. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna loop through all the crumbs in your crumbs array, which is passed in as a prop. So this is the actual crumb. As I said, it's an array of strings, so this is just a string. And this second one is just a crumb index, so it's the index. And then because it's required by view, you need a key. Oh, I need to do something. Hold on. I need to do that. There we go. So you need the key, and we can just pass in our crumb index to the key to make view happy. And then now we need the style, so just do class breadcrumb item and align items center. These are both just bootstrap styles. If you're wondering how I'm figuring out where to get these bootstrap styles, legit just google bootstrap breadcrumb and it comes straight from that. This one doesn't, but this one is used to align things correctly. And I kind of figured that out on my own, just messing around with the CSS. Now inside of, I'm gonna backspace this a little bit. Okay, so now inside of here, put a button and give it some styles as well. So class button, button link, which those are both bootstrap styles. Now we're also going to do a dynamic style. You do that by starting with a colon like this. So instead of passing like in a string, you're passing in kind of, you can pass in like variable variables pretty much. So I'm gonna say inside of here, disabled, and then use our is last method and pass the from index into it. And all this is saying is if this index right here is the last one, then disable it. And this is a bootstrap style as well called disabled. It just kind of makes the last crumb kind of just makes it look kind of dull like you see there and not clickable. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is add a click handler. You can do that just like this. And let's put our selected method and it takes in the name of the crumb. So whenever you click on this crumb, it calls the selected method down here, which then emits a selected event with the data for our crumb. And then we will catch this event in app.view, as I said earlier. And then the last thing for this file we just simply want to show our crumb and you do it just like that. It'll actually show the name of the crumb inside of our button. So next let's go to app.view. You can get rid of 
all of this stuff. We didn't want the hello world, so get rid of that stuff too. So first things first, in this file you want to actually import your breadcrumb into this component. So it's just in our components folder, breadcrumb.view. Simple as that, but you also need to put it right here so that you can use it in the template. And before we actually set the template up, let's add some data here. And this is where we will actually define our crumbs. So inside, just put crumbs. And we can just put whatever we want, really. I'm just gonna put home category and sub category. And after that, we're just gonna make one method. Oop, did that wrong, there we go. So one method, we're just gonna call it selected, going to take in a crumb, and it's really not gonna do anything, honestly. So I'm just gonna console log our crumb. In this tutorial, we're not really going to use this method, but as I was saying earlier, if we did want to add a functionality where you can like remove crumbs or add crumbs, the action to do that would go inside of this method. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set up our template. We want to create breadcrumb and it's going to take in some bootstrap styles. These styles that I'm going to define right here are they're mainly just to get the breadcrumb component centered on the screen so it's nothing super unique to a breadcrumb itself it's just for the tutorial so i'm going to put container here and then i'm going to put a row and say justify content center and then just to get it away from the top of the screen i'm going to do a margin of four now we actually just need to pass our crumbs array in as a prop. So do crumbs like that and just say crumbs, which passes this array right down here in as props. Simple as that. And then one last thing, let's add an event handler called selected and do that. And all this is saying is listen to an event called selected. And if it here's one, then call the selected method down here. Okay, so that is it. We're just gonna leave these default styles in. You can mess around with CSS as much as you'd like, but for now, what I'm going to do is save it, go back to our terminal, and just type npm run serve. Sometimes it'll open the browser for you, sometimes it won't. For me, it did not, so I just take this, copy it, Go over here, and as you see, there is our breadcrumb component. Super easy. If you do not see a breadcrumb component like you see here, and you have questions, feel free to comment below. All right, so pretty simple one today. I hope this helped. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.